I can't believe I just did that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 embarrassing things that even veteran drivers do. I'm a driver with almost 25,000 miles and I'm gonna share with you 10 things, stupid things, that I still do once in a while, which are really embarrassing. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what is the most embarrassing thing that happened just last week. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Right Share Guy. And today I'm going to cover 10, 10 embarrassing things that veteran drivers do uh, to this day. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, but I'm gonna <laughs> let down my hair as they say and share with you what I think are some pretty boneheaded moves. Let's jump right in. So number one is drinking regular coffee. I used to drink regular coffee and I'd have to go to the bathroom all the time. Then someone explained to me that cold brew is made differently and it's not as much of a diuretic, which means you don't have to pee as much. So that's what I drink in the mornings. And it works. I don't pee nearly as often. But in the afternoon sometimes I forget or I get tempted by a Starbucks, uh, uh, you know, a picture and I order something like a caramel macchiato and then I pee often. So. <laughs> Boing, boing, <laughs> boneheaded move. <laughs> Number two, I forget to wash my windows in the morning. So when you see the window like this, it looks pretty clean. But in the morning, if I don't wash it and then I'm driving in the morning and the sun is shining through, you start to see some of the like dust and stuff on it and it doesn't look good. When I wash it every morning, it looks clean and great. But still, some mornings I just forget about it or I just decide not to do it thinking it's going to be different, but it's not. It just looks bad. Boing. Number three, I'll stop exercising, which leads to a sore back. Yes, I work out pretty consistently, but then I'll get to a point where I'm like, I kind of forget how important it is and I stop and then my back gets a little sore. Now, fortunately, I got this back shield thing which uh, really helps, and uh, but my back will get a little sore and then I'll go have to go work out again. So why do I forget? I don't know. Boing. <laughs> okay, number four, uh, I forget to update my documents on time. This has happened twice where, you know, Uber and Lyft send you warnings. They just sent me warnings about my driver's license, which is up for renewal. Uh, fortunately, I've learned and I, I got my new driver's license and I sent him the pictures and everything's good. But a couple of times I didn't, I procrastinated and uh, I missed a day or two of driving while I got everything sorted out. Boing. Okay, this one is number five, really, really irritates me, but I get stuck taking long trips during rush hour. Uh, so with Lyft, as you know, there's a way that you can arrive and then you can see where you're going and if you don't want it, you can cancel. Um, sometimes though, I get into the habit because so many of the trips are just short that I don't even check. I just assume they're going to be a short trip and I get stuck. Someone's in my car and I see, oh my gosh, we're going over to Oakland or uh, we're going to another city where I'm going to have to sit in traffic. Boing! Number six, driving when I haven't gotten eight good hours of sleep. I learned this like in the second year that if I don't get enough sleep, I'm not a good driver. I'm impatient and uh, I just can't deal with the passengers. But still, some mornings my alarm will go off and I know it's only been six hours or five hours and I go ahead and gut through it and I always pay the price. So, boing. Number seven, I forget to turn on both Uber and Lyft uh, when times are slow. I drive primarily for Lyft and uh, I'll be driving around for like 15 minutes waiting for a ride and I'm like, what am I doing? I can put Uber on and probably get a ride much sooner. So I forget and then I go to 15 minutes and then I go, oh my God, what am I doing? And I put the app on, very embarrassing, boing. Number eight, eight, I do not help passengers with their luggage. So sometimes I'll be sitting in my car, got the air conditioning on, I'm listening to Dexter Gordon, 
and I see <laughs> I see we're going to the airport and some guys walking towards the car with a piece of luggage and I just pop the trunk. It's lazy, it's stupid. Uh, I don't I have less of a chance of getting a tip and uh, I just forget. I just get lazy. Boing. Number nine, I still get angry with passengers. Sometimes they'll ask me a question I don't want to answer. They make me wait too long. Uh, they start eating food that I don't like the smell of. <laughs> it could be anything. And I turn into a really crappy driver because I don't have patience. And, uh, and then I'm not nice and I don't, I don't do the nice greeting. I don't do the nice, you know, have a great day. And I don't get a tip. <laughs> I probably get my rating marked down. Although well, I've been pretty good for the last two weeks, as you can see here, I have only gotten five star ratings for the last two weeks, almost 200 trips. Number 10, and the one that is the most embarrassing, and it's happened twice, and it just happened last week, I miss a turnoff. So <laughs> I'm driving and I'm, I, th I, I have in my head where we're gonna go and uh, I, I didn't realize I had to get on the freeway and I didn't. And, and, I, and I had to go down and turn around and come back and get back on the freeway and it was like a five minute delay. And I was so embarrassed because <laughs> passengers tell me, horror stories about, you know, idiot drivers who, you know, made the wrong turn and it cost them 15, 20 minutes. So I'm very careful and very good about, you know, making sure I make my, my turns. But uh, in this case, I, I messed up. And that was by far the most embarrassing thing that I've done in a long time. So what are the key takeaways here? Number one is all you can do is the best you can do. And sometimes we're gonna make mistakes and as long as we're giving it our best effort, that's the best that we can do. So just keep on going, keep on driving. Don't let little mistakes slow you down because there's always another passenger for you to do an excellent job for. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. I wanna say thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we put videos out two or three, four times a week. It's the latest stuff, the latest and greatest in the rideshare industry. If you're a rideshare driver, you want to stay on top of everything, this is the place to be. Subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our team. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.